Hello, good morning. This is day two of MB08 2018. <sighs> Saturday the 29th September. Time 0632 hours, just dawning. Lovely colour of sky. Well, yesterday was excellent. Really, 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 really good. And got a bit Brexity at the end, which was interesting. Anyway, going to go, definitely go back to the Gloucester Brewery. And that area of Gloucester, lots of pubs, really nice, whatever. So today, Hereford, there be the Travel Lodge, where I'm staying tonight. Going over that way, got to catch up. Did no audio yesterday, very little video, didn't upload any video. Although there's about two gigs ready to go. It's calm. It's cold, plus three Celsius, I think. But I'm looking forward to it. Big call, big call. Is this full on the books? Should be. Rot rot, as they don't say around here. Ah, it's fresh. It's calm. So, no movement. And it's just before opening. And I've had bacon. There's a deal. Well, I did have an email from Mr. Manning <laughs> about his neighbour painting the weatherboards. It was good. Oh, and here's the carpet. Anyway, um, King's Fee. Dark Monroe, single hop mild. Swanee Brewery, which I think is part of the Orkney Brewery. It says it underneath, so whatever. 4% alcohol by volume. Mild. Bit cold. Mm. There's there's a hint of coffee there. And some burnt notes. Uh, burnt better finish. Tingly on the tongue. Yeah, B plus. It's not bad. I like it. More carpet for Mr. Manning. Actually, I had Mr. Manning on the Google Hangout earlier on. Uh, the first one, um, I'm not sure what happened. The audio went all completely crazy. Anyway, um, he's a hero, Mr. Manning is. Anyway, look at that carpet nut. This is Ruffled Feathers by the Swan Brewery. It's a session red ale. And I think we're doing a meet the brewer here at some time in the near future. Um, did I say 3.8? I can't even remember. Anyway, um, today's disappearing. Okay, it's creamy. Fruity, hoppy. Yeah, I would say pleasant. Not great. Nothing wrong with it. Nice bit of fruit, B plus. Well, because Friday didn't happen. Well, it did happen, but it was more German. Uh, I'm treating Saturday as Friday, food-wise anyway, with enhanced onion rings. It's boiling. So I'm have a refreshing drink in the Firefly. It's arty the flooring, Mr. Man. Look at that. Ah, real wood. And they are... They're tiles. And this... This is a collab. The sky was pink. Hibiscus Citra Mandarina Bavarian Hot uh, Tile Blanc Hops. So we're a bit German. This is Siren Dea. 6.4% alcohol by volume. Freshly on. Okay. Oh wow. That is hugely refreshing. Fruity, tropical. Tingly. Nice and sharp. B. Easily. Okay. I'm not sure about having my smock on at the moment, but it might snow. 
Anyway, I think another t-shirt. The good news is they're now back open from 10 o'clock on Saturday. And I have a t-shirt, extra large, as you would expect, from Aberdeen Fierce. This is Tangerine Tart, 4.5% alcohol by volume. It's sunny. Oh look, artistic falling, Mr. Man. Mm, there's a sort of semi-funky aroma. Mm. Tons of tangerine. Not highly sour, but gently sour. Very nice for the day like today. B plus on a bit. You can't come here and not drink cloud water. This is Brook IPA Champagne. 6.5% alcohol by volume. Still sunny. Oh, it smells like the bomb. I don't know where the cash box is. It's all grown up. Ooh. Quite dry, quite sharp. It has that fruit bombness about it. I think that would be a grower as well. Oh, very sharp. Very dry on the tent. Uh, around the collection area. Yeah. I would say B++ because that man, yeah. we're not getting this. Well, this is going to be a live tasting. Stones, brewed in the US. Tangerine Express IPA with additional pineapple. Here we go. Aroma, oh, fruit bombish. Alcohol by volume, 6.7%. Oh, sharp. Sharp, uh, fruity, and the orange as well. I would say well hidden, but the alcohol is up there. This is up. This is one of your five a day, blow your head off sort of things. Yeah. B plus plus. And Man United lost three one. Mourinho out. You can't be getting the original glass. White tips. Okay, what does it say? White IPA packed with hops and citrus peel. Four point five percent alcohol by volume. I didn't realise it's bottle conditioned. So there might be a. Oh, fruity aroma. Yes. No, no. Oh, wow. There's fruit. But I'm showing my hand around. There you go. Yeah, there's fruitiness. It's quite dry. A bit sharp. A little bit excellent. A little bit B plus plus. Um, Bradley Tutlow.